in this video i am going to show you how to filter data across data sources all right so this view retail sales is built from the orders data source and this view coffee sales is built from the coffee chain data source and whatever filters i apply to this data source does not automatically apply to this data source what do i mean so if let's say i create a filter by region so i just created a filter by region if i go back to this dashboard and bring coffee sales and retail sales into the view and i can click on this drop down menu to show the regions filter when i make a selection from this filter the changes that i make is only applicable to this data source right here it doesn't have any impact on this data source that's because this filter is attached to this data source only so in this video i'll show you how to create filters across data sources let's dive in now in order to be able to filter across data sources you need to establish a relationship across the data sources and if you look here this data source coffee has a column a dimension called market and we can click on this to see what the data looks like so this is what the market dimension looks like central east south and west and if we go to orders data source and look at it we have one here that's called market but it doesn't have the same information as market in the coffee data source but when we look at region region has information similar to what we see in market and from the coffee data source so we are going to create a relationship between region and market and there is a couple of ways to create this relationship we could go to data edit blend relationships and from here we can do add and from this data source we want to match region with market and then we can click ok now we have a relationship between region and market that is one way to establish a relationship between the two data sources and as you can see now market has a linking icon which means that we can use market to establish a relationship to this orders data source another way to create relationships is to do it manually as you can see when i remove that link the link icon disappeared here i could easily since region and market has the same information i could just rename this region region and region now if we go to data and go to edit relationships automatic region is one of the automatic relationships you can click on ok now we can link these two data sources together on region or state but in this case we'll be using region so those are two ways to establish a relationship between two data sources and i've shown you this multiple times in previous video so this should be some kind of refresher let's go ahead and show a filter for region and we want the regions that's only applicable to the country of us and we click apply okay and we can go ahead and show this filter here in order for us 
to apply filters across data sources. This is the last step. So we established a relationship between these two data sources on region. Then we created a filter on this data source. If you want this filter to apply to this data source, it's actually very simple. So you just click on this drop down and you go to apply to worksheets and you go to all user related data sources. And once you do that, you see this icon right here. This icon being filled means that the filter was originally applied in this worksheet in this data source. And once you go to the coffee chain data source, or if you go to coffee sales visualization, you see the same icon and you can see that the smaller one is filled. And this indicates that this is the secondary data source. Basically, this is the data source that the filter is applied to. So this icon with the big one field means that this is a data source and visualization where the filter was originally created. And this little icon being field means that this is the visualization and data source where the filter is applied to. As you can see, once we told it to apply the filter across the data sources, it automatically applied it to the data source. And it was able to do that because we established a relationship between coffee chain and orders. Now I'm going to do all of this again, but I'm going to do it and very quickly just so that you can see it again in action. Let me go ahead and click X. Actually, I'll just remove this. And let me go ahead and rename this to market. That's what it was. Now there's no relationship between these two data sources. All right, so there, now there's no relationship between two data sources. So I'm just going to do this again quickly, just so you see it again in action. And basically, you, want, you have two data sources, you want to establish a relationship between them. This is where you start. You start by going with a dimension that's common between them. So region and market have um, the same data, even though that the dimension name is different. So I'll just go to data, edit blend relationships, I'll go to custom add, and I'll choose market here and region here, okay? And okay. Now just a relationship between region here and market here. Relationship between region and market and then I'm just going to create a filter from region and I'm, I'm going to click this apply to worksheet and once I create this filter the first time if we go back to this visualization this filter is not there but once I click on this and go to apply to worksheet or using data sources this icon appears. If you go to coffee cells, you see that filter right there. So that is how you establish a relationship between two data sources. Now let's go to our dashboard and test out our new filter. When we click on this, we can drag this into the view and also drag Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and show this filter. Bring it down here. Bring this into the view and the filter associated with it comes up. Coffee cells into the view. 
and let's see once once you click on south see whatever selection we make here it's automatically applied to the two data sources and this is just showing information for western And here I'm just using the region as color coding. And if we go back to our visualization here, and let's use central region. As you can see, the filter is being applied across two separate data sources. That's it for this video. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.